What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. I'm held up a little bit waiting on V-band clamps to continue with the exhaust. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the fuel system since I have all the parts here for this. Uh, let me walk you through what I have and what my plan is. And then we'll get started on our first bit of modification we need to do. Okay, so here's what we've got. First and the biggest piece, we have a stock replacement fuel tank from a 1987 Chevy K30. 87s had fuel injection. So the fuel injected tanks like this one have a basket in the bottom directly below the fuel pickup to help keep fuel around the pickup tube when you're driving. I also have a brand new sending unit. This is meant for an 86 K30. Uh, I really just ordered the cheapest one I could find because all I really need is this top plate and the fuel level sensor. The rest of it I'm going to get rid of. I got some various dash six an fittings i'm going to be using dash six for my feed and return and i have uh what was labeled marketed and advertised as a walbro 450 fuel pump uh it says on the side of it it's a ti automotive fuel pump uh, it had the good reviews everybody that purchased one seemed to be happy with it and said it did the job so uh, i'm confident that it'll be fine for what i'm going to do at least starting out i'll put links to all of this stuff in the description below so if you want to just duplicate what I do you can but what I need to start out by doing is I need to get the return line off of here I'm not gonna need that as well as this uh, vent line I'm not gonna be using that also and then I'm gonna figure out how I want to do my feed I'm not gonna use this feed but it also acts as the mount for the fuel level sensor, which I do want to use. So I may just cut off pieces of it and drill over here for my, for my feed with my new pump. So I'm going to start getting the stuff that I don't need off and then I'll sort out what I want to do with the stuff that is still there. <laughs> Securely to 
this old film or old paint rather. clean spritz. Get all my oily fingerprints off of it. So we've got our in-tank pump wired up, connected up. Oh, almost forgot. I don't want my return just spraying down into nowhere. I want to try to control that so it's not aerating my fuel. So I put a little, little chunk of hose on that too to direct it back down below surface level. Woo! Almost forgot. There we go. So I got my ceiling ring on. There we go, that got it. Sit all this down in there. Line it up on the little notches. We get our ceiling ring, or our lock ring rather. It goes there. And then, I typically try not to use the meat hammer. Whoops. Got you again. Man, reactions like a box. We are in there. So we've got our feed. We've got our return. We've got our, this is the factory feed. We're gonna cap this off. We're not using this for now, but it's there in case we need it as a return in the future. Uh, and otherwise, this part's ready to go. It bolts right into the truck. So I'll put my little ground wire back on. And actually I should caveat, it should bolt right into the truck. It's a factory replacement tank for this year truck. So it should bolt right in, but you never know until you do it. All right, so the last little bits I have for this thing, if I can get them open here, is my little 90s. So I'll be able to get these pointed whichever direction I choose, like so. They're all set just a bit, so if I remember correctly, this will be towards the front under the cab, this part will be under the bed, so I'll more than likely have them pointed about like this. And having the staggered heights makes it easy for me to get my fittings on there and tightened up. So, there we go. This part's all ready. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. We've got our fuel tank ready to go. It's got our Walbro 450 pump installed. We're gonna retain the factory fuel level sending unit. Connects right over here. Uh, but we're gonna have that, that larger, more powerful electronic fuel pump and hopefully that'll be enough to feed our horsepower goals. Thanks so much for watching everybody. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Comments, advice, anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe. I'll be showing you how I do everything else on this project. But thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.